Hey guys, I just want to clear the archives a little bit. Um, these are some scam baits that didn't really go anywhere, but I just want to be able to move them away from my pin chats so they're a little bit annoying. So meet Tom Jones. Way back in July. Hello friend, he says. I said, hi. How are you doing, fans? I said, fans, how many of me do you think there are? I'm fine. Just one? What are you doing? I said, cooking dinner, steak and salad before you ask. Sounds yummy. I said, okay. I will love to know more about you if you don't mind. I said, go, sure, go ahead. What is your occupation? I said, English teacher. Wow, that's nice. I said, yes, it is. Are you married or single? I said, I'm single at the moment. How old are you? I said, 44, much younger than you, LOL. Age is just a number. I said, not really, but if you say so. Yes, it is. I said, if you say so. Can you send me a picture of you? I said, there are plenty on my profile I don't send online. Why can't you send me your pictures online? He demands. I said, as a gentleman, you would never push a lady, would you? The IT department says not to. Go on my profile and look at one. Okay, fine, if you don't want to send me your pictures. How are you done cooking your dinner? <laughs> I said, no, I'm going to eat now. Okay, are you going to eat alone? Will you like to meet up with me in person? I said, well, that's hardly possible. You're all booked up until 2024. Don't worry, as time goes, I will give you the opportunity to meet me in person, says Tom, and I bet it wouldn't cost me a cent. <laughs> I said, okay. How are you doing? I said, good. And you? I'm good. How is everything doing? I said, good. And you? Really boring. Same here. What is your religious belief? I said, none. You? I'm a Christian. I said, okay. What are your hobbies? Asked Tom. I said, the usual, reading, watching TV, gardening, underwater yogic chairlifting, listening to music, the same stuff, I guess, hanging out with friends, etc. What about you? And you guys all know where I flog the underwater yogic chairlifting from. Thank you, Annie. You legend. You know who you are. Reading and watching TV, he says, mim mim mimicking me, listening to music, sport, particularly swimming and travelling. So tell me, do you get upset easily? <laughs> so I left it. Hello, friend. And around getting upset easily, I said, I do if people ask me silly, nonsensical questions like uh, they're reading them off a list. Why? Are you doing a survey? I like a man who can hold a mature conversation about books, music, the theatre, etc. That's nice. Love heart. How are you doing? I said, doing well. And you? Are you guys sensing a pattern here? Because I really am. Hence, I think why I didn't go anywhere. I got bored. Same here, says Tom Jones. What are you doing right now? I said, just got up, having coffee before work. Okay. Please always take care of yourself. I said, why are we texting on Insta and saying we aren't talking here? So he'd hit me up on Instagram exactly at the same time. And I'd asked him, you know, aren't we chatting on chat? And he's like, no, I have no idea. So he'd either handed the phone to a mate or he'd completely forgotten who I was. So the next day he comes back, that is not me. You know, so many people are using my pictures to take money from my fans. I said, the email address is the same. And if someone is on your profile, delete it. The profile is the same that you and I messaged on. I think you just got confused as to who you were talking to. That's all. That is not me. So many people are using my pictures for scam. I just want to inform you that there are a lot of people here pretending to be me. But I have no worries because everything is in total control. I have reported the situation to the FBI and CIA and they have placed and underground investigations to track down these scammers who scam money for uh, women for money with my pictures and anybody caught in this act will face the court of law. For now you have no worries because you are talking to me for real but for some time. <laughs> 
This scammer is so ridiculous. I said, what on earth do you think the FBI and the CIA can do? The scammers are in West Africa using a platform where you can create any profile you like. I would be deleting your Insta if you say people are messaging on there and it's not you. So he vanishes, literally until October. Okay, he says, how are you doing, fan? I said, fan? Jesus, you've completely forgotten. Must be a quiet evening over there. Huh. Yes, my dear, agrees our idiot scammer. How's the weather conditions over there? I said, oh, for F's sake. Over where, Tom? Where do I live? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't understand, said our very confused scammer. I said, no, of course you don't. Never mind. Get some sleep. It's late over here. I'm from Tree Forest, Pontypridd, United Kingdom, he informs me. I said, are you, though? Yes, I am. Where are you from? I said, read back the chat. Are you a new member of the team, or did you just forget? Sloppy work, mate. You haven't messaged since July, and it was the stupidest conversation I've ever heard. We both know you aren't Tom Jones, so you can't just stop now. Sorry about that. I have so many things doing, and I have a problem. I said, you have nothing doing, and oh, I'm aware of your problem. I have a big problem. That's why I'm not online. I went, "Uh uh-huh, I'm not interested. I'm sorry for not chatting with you. I said, you're not Tom and I'm not sending gift cards, so go away. Interested in what? Did I ask you to send me Steam card? I don't understand. I said, I'm not interested in any of your problems. Did I told you to help me? I don't understand. I think it's because I'm chatting with you. I said, you are not Tom, so I don't care about you. Really? Okay. Tick. Finally, he gets it, I said, shaking my head. So that was yesterday. This guy was just confused. One of these ones that went nowhere, so I can finally delete it. There is more. Meet Jimmy Barnes. Instagram chat's probably long gone. It's nice having you on here. Please, I want you to keep my email personal to yourself. And please, under no condition, should you give my email to anyone. Also understand that I'm really busy. And don't worry, I will always make sure I reply all your chat whenever I'm less busy. And you can always chat with me here. I said nobody would believe me. Funny time you messaging me. 8pm last night. Hmm. Were you on a break or something? Because the exact time this idiot scammer was messaging me, Jimmy Barnes was in the middle of a concert. Well, not really. It was just when I got your email folded from my online manager, I was a little busy, so I didn't remember. How long have you been supporting my dreams? (laughs) Said no celebrity ever. I said, if I recall, you were on stage at 8pm, dot, 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 dot. Do you not know who Jimmy Barnes is? Please tell me you Googled him at least. That was a poor, silly mistake to make. What do you mean? I'm Jimmy. And when uh, I said he was on stage, yes, I was. I said, you messaged me the same time Jimmy was on stage performing. It was a silly mistake to make. And around being Jimmy, I said, you're not, but you can keep thinking it. So that was in August. And again, he reached out. You're being disrespectful, he informed me at midnight last night. I said, why are you messaging me again? You're obviously not Jimmy, so bugger off into whatever hole you crawled out of. If it feels so unreal to you, then you can sincerely stop chatting with me. I'm okay with that, so when you stop chatting, I guess that would be real to you. Please, I do not want any trouble or stress. If stop chatting with me because you feel that I dedicating time to talking with you is not real and nice enough, then you can quit talking. I wouldn't want to threaten your peace of mind. At least that would save me all these complaints of you embarrassing me and calling me a liar. No one ever said those words to me. Sorry, they need to learn some punctuation. That was exhausting. I said goodbye, fake, which he hasn't seen, and I'm really praying he doesn't come back because we're going to end up in a really big fight, which may end up really ugly. I think there's one more. And finally, meet Hugh Jackman, another scam that went, a scam bait that went nowhere. 
Hello, he says back in July. I said, hi there, how's London treating you? I'm doing good, Julia. How are you doing? I said, I'm fine, thanks, just at work at the moment. Oh, nice. So tell me, where are you chatting from? I've got just a couple of minutes to have a conversation with you. I said, I'm from the same place as you, Australia. In fact, we live in the same town. Oh, really? So tell me, Julia, tell me about yourself. Tell me anything I'd want to hear it. You already know so much about me. My life is always on the media. So it's only fair if I get to know you and you also get to know me. Or do you think otherwise? He says nonsensical rubbish. I said, I have no idea what you want to know. Anything, everything. Tell me your age. Are you married? Do you have kids? What is your occupation? What's your hobby? Just basic stuff. Talk to you later. Signed, HJ. <laughs> I ignored him, obviously. Hello, Julia. How are you doing over there? I said, over where? Right? And then the next day, I said, we are from the same place, or did you forget? No, I didn't forget. I meant over there at home. I said, it's fine. I'm fine. It's Saturday morning and I'm about to go out for some brunch. Hello, Julia. I just got some free time to myself now. I hope you had a nice meal. I said, yes, I had a lovely day with my sister and nephew. Hello, Julia. How are you doing? I said, I'm fine, thanks. That's good to hear. I will love us to talk extensively today. I will text you at my free time. Have a peaceful rest, Julia. And he vanishes until August. Hello, Julia. How you doing? Got some free time to myself. I hope you're doing good. I said, I'm fine. I don't have free time. I'll maybe message later. Okay, that's fine. I hope you're doing good. The next day. Hello, Julia. I hope your night was special as you. Have a lovely day. I said, it was 1.40 a.m. when you messaged me. I wish you'd remember what time it is over here. I know you're in the UK at the moment, but your family is here, so I assume you'd know the time, dot, 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 dot. So he goes away for a couple of weeks. Hello, Julia, he said. And I said, oh, you're back, are you? He saw that in 16th of September. He hasn't responded where, you know, toward the end of October. I doubt he will. So, look, I got a lot of these little dead ends. They're a bit of fun, a bit of education about the typical things they say because they all sound the same. So, you know, I'd say he's forgotten. He may crawl back. So that was just a little bit of filler. <laughs> all right, subscribe. Bye.